together where I'm being Svetlana in the summer of 2021 we packed our dogs in the car and uh, made our way to Greece to start our new life as liverboards on a sailboat this is our journey I hope you enjoy it and please like and subscribe had to come back for this bugger because he jumped to shore. Like that. So we're just leaving um Bathy and realized we left someone's missing. Uh, one of the crew was missing so we'll never start engines we abandoned ship. Yeah. So we had to go back for him and collect him side two. Yeah, it's rainy, it's horrible, isn't it, Biash? It's not wet. You alright, girls? Well, no. <laughs> so, we're heading back to... Okay, we're we're swept and interesting. <laughs> so it's you. We're just wet. Yeah. Look, we're building so, another house. Oh my god. That's going that's to look quick. I know. This one was like, we watched it from the very beginning, last year. It took them a year to build this one. It must have cost millions, houses like that. People, people with some money here. So we're going to Nidri and as our um, uh, windless is bust. So we are fishing. So on, only Andy, Andy only manually. So manually. But in this rain, I would well. I don't know. I, I was thinking of um, going side to on a county. Um, There's room. No, the boys are in the way. Not there, where we were, just go side to, there, there's no other boats, and until uh, we get the windlass sorted. No, not in the marked area, in the free area where we, we, we yeah, stayed, there is. There's a, there's a storm line straight away across the middle of it. Yeah, there's enough room for the boat, I'm sure. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll drop just a small amount. I'm going to look at the uh, wing, maybe a small amount of train, so it's, it's not too much to pick it up and then go you know, get a tanker. But I don't know how you're going to fix the windlass with the anchor, you know, while you're a tanker. We don't tie the anchor off. Alright, so you can do it. Yeah, you can. Not using the anchor. You've got to put it on the scrubbing line so there's no weight on the windlass. Yeah. So okay. it's not different. Right. Okay. Just take the chain off the wind. I couldn't even take the whole windlass out and still leave it on the windlass. So we're not going a tank club today. Really. I no. Put, I should have put this back on. Then, then, you, you can't, then you can't see anything. I don't need to see that. Besides, it's clear plastic. Yeah, yeah, it's utterly horrible. It's clean now. Uh, screen is covered with bird shit and stuff, isn't it? Trap. <laughs> Stop hitting beggar with your tail. <laughs> you always do this. Isn't it? She's looking like a mammoth. She needs trimming, but it's winter, so I'm saving it. That way. What is it, Skelk? What is it? Alright, so, Nidri, here we come again. Yeah, here, all yours. The windlass is broken again. Now you see me taking it apart so many times, I've not bothered 
filming that bit and the motor which is a brand new motor is burnt out um, it's turning but it's very weak so I put the old motor back in and uh, this bearing here is looking pretty shot you see there's actually a piece there's a bearing piece in there so I've got to take that out and see if I can sort of resurrect it if I can so I can't necessarily I can't get the bearing out so but everything else seems to be running smoothly so I packed it with grease and uh, I'm going to put it all back together and see if I can get it working at the very least. Um, there's not a lot else I can do really. So uh, I need to send the motor off to get it rewound and repaired. So yeah. So we'll just have to see how, how that looks really. Well it's in. I've put it back together. It works on the old motor. This is the new motor and you can see the wires are just burned through there's too much ampage going through to this motor um, but that's how it was designed now we upgraded the anchor and to be fair we didn't upgrade the windlass so the windlass is probably a little bit underpowered which is the reason why it's struggling and it's the reason why I'm baby babying it along now when I repaired the old motor I did upgrade the wires but you can see even now there's a little bit of melting on the insulation um, so the new motor was supposed to be as a insurance policy uh, what I'm going to do is see if I can get this refurbished because it's, it's less than six months old um, and hold that as a spare uh, but I think sometime in the not too distant future you're probably going to be looking at us replacing the windlass um, but it's going to have to wait now because uh, obviously we just bought the cooker so uh, I've got to let the boat maintenance fund build up again um, but at least we're operational again we've got a working windlass uh, so that's good tidy up my tools and then uh, get packed up Well, this winter bimini does make a huge difference. It's very enclosed with this here. So, so we're here today to try and fix the anchor windlass. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to, but it's worth a try at least. So, what I've done so far is I've taken the... Um, one of the motors to a local guy who basically repairs motors repairs uh, electric motors and he's going to take a look at it over the weekend for me and see if it's repairable if it is then I'll get it repaired and then that hopefully will be a decent motor because uh, the one that's in there again there was smoke coming off it so uh, there is something binding in the mechanism definitely so I've got to try and sort that uh, before we do anything else because all it's going to do is just burn another motor out so yeah so we'll see anyway Get these covers up, a little bit of sunlight in, because it's a nice day, it's like a, a spring morning today, so, which is good because we've had, we've had a couple of dull days, so it's nice to have a, uh, a sunny day. To be fair, this Greece is sunny most of the time, or this part of Greece, I should say. So, right. So the the snubber is on, which means that um, 
the chain is supported so I should be able to take the whole thing off the gypsy uh, without any real difficulties so a little bit uh, and if I can do that I can take so I can take this off and we can start to take it apart um, you can still use the anchor manually um, but it's not fun trying to pull up 50 meters of chain so the more I can do to get this working the better really so let's see I think I might try and put some gloves on this is going to be a messy job okay so I've got all this off and this all spins nice and freely and is snug but then I've come to this and it's not exactly snug to say the least now I know that this bit comes off here I know it does because we've had it off before so I'm trying to work out why it's not coming now <sighs> it's all good clean fun So I have um, taped a plastic bag over the table to try and keep it clean. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but I'm going to get all this grease off first and see what we've got. So, um, looks to me as though maybe this has moved as well. So, because if you look here, there is a groove, and this has got a circlip on it. So, it looks as though there are grooves in there if that's me that could be awkward anyway let's just get this cleaned off and see what we've got yeah that has definitely moved not a lot but it has moved so we need to try and tap that back down
so this is greased up. So this goes on here. And it is this way around. Okay, so the problem is this bolt which has snapped um, and is what actually holds the whole thing together. The trouble is this is actually a reverse thread so doing it up is actually undoing it and vice versa so it's the wrong way around so I've got to find one. Okay so it's back from being refurbished it looks like brand new so we'll get that fitted. Now I've had to order the bolt from the UK. It's the only place that I could get it is the guy that stocks the spares for Simpson Lawrence winches. So uh, that's cost about 50 quid. Uh, and that'll be here in about a week's time I think. So can't really use the windlass until that arrives. Because otherwise it'll come apart again and burn the motor. But at least... In an emergency, if this is fitted, then we could use it. So I'm going to get it in there and see what happens. So after a lot of coming and going, Svetlana's replacement electric toilet conversion kit's turned up. So it's time to fit it. Um, yeah. So the first thing I'm going to do is plug this into power and make sure it actually turns. I don't want to spend all that time and effort um, plugging it in, plugging it in and then find it don't work. So we'll do that first I think. Well, I hate seat toilets. Anyway, it's working. So that's flush. Phil. Seems to be working okay. However, as you'll see here, if I turn it on. I don't know whether you saw that. There is water gushing out of here. Well, it's not gushing, it's pulsing out of there. So there's a seal there that's not working properly. But I don't think it's enough to I don't think it's enough to to be too worried about right now. So yeah. Okay. So it all needs cleaning up now. It's a uh, uh, how do you call it in English? Baptizing what to do? Baptize. Baptize. Help, help, help. Baptizing day. I'm cold. I've got to do it. So it's baptizing. It's spelled. Uh, I don't know what. To call. You're not helping anyway. I don't know. So all the water is holy in the well because the Russian Orthodox Church. Holy So I've got to <laughs> got to go. <laughs> I did look at the top because I can't believe what they're doing. I did just look. They're like, Mummy, seriously. I'll do it there, look. So watch it. We give it just to Mamma Sid Ryan to tell it. So So, I'm just... 
it, it, it don't need two crowns. Good. Ah, right. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's easier than going from. You need me to push you. <laughs> yes, probably. <laughs> I would need a push. Dingy, you're on the way. Ah. Ah. Dingy. Dingy. Silk, are you coming with me? <sighs> 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 Oh no, I feel great. <laughs> yeah. Now I feel <laughs> you should get <sighs> plus. <sighs> now seriously, I have uh, now the all the blood is circulation. Oh god, it's colder than last year. Last year, mind you, it was. Uh, <laughs> Six or ten year old, because there was a big baptize in there, and it was in three meters in Paleros. What that here? It's about ten. ten. Makes a difference. Actually, it's not uh, the water, it's not usually cold here. So, I'm, I'll be now holid and uh, so all. No illness will come to me. So I'll be healthy and wealthy. Next January. Really? Seriously? So with the swimming. Let's get dressed. Get undressed. Thank <laughs> you.